Welcome to the Beasts of the NFC's podcast. I am your host, Sean Michael Gnitskovich, with my co-host, Jeremy Good. Jeremy Good, it's Mock Draft Madness. What is good? Well, Sean, you, you offered this idea to me, and everybody loves a mock draft. Everyone loves the NFL draft. You get mm-hmm. players that you didn't have before that make your team better just like that, which is mm-hmm. very interesting. Yes. Uh, but just as an Eagles fan, I know, I know, you know, it's exciting as an Eagles fan. As a Giants fan, you must be thrilled being able to oh, draft so top thrilled. five, top five every year for the past decade, 20, 25 years. So, um, yeah, it, it, I'm excited, but I know, talk to me because I know you're excited. I'm very excited. The draft <laughs> usually falls on my birthday, falls on okay. my birthday this year. So great. Uh, the Giants have been winners of the league in April before, and then those drafts ended up being complete crap. I mean, the draft that the draft where everybody's going to be free agents next year for the Giants, the 20, uh, 2021 draft. Yeah. 2021 draft. I don't think we're resigning any of those players. So there, there's like, and like, I was so excited for Aziz Angelari. He's been awful, awful tipper. I was excited for Canarius Tony. He's probably working at McDonald's next year. You know, like, so like, and then the Evan, the, the cave on Evan Neal draft. I thought we were winners of that draft. I thought I was so excited for Xavier McKinney. He was a four year rental. He's gone. You know, like there's, there's, you get so excited for these players. Mm. I mean, you guys drafted a fireman a few, like you yes. know, a decade ago, was, you know, like that was bad. So th- this is super exciting, especially we're, we're going to be drafting for all four NFC's teams. So right now, your pick. You want Commanders or you want Cowboys? Um, I guess uh, I, you pick. You pick. I think because the Giants and the Commanders have similar needs, and I've been scouting a lot of players for the Giants, I feel like I would probably align better with the Commanders. But, I mean, okay. we, we, can co- we can co-GM for these two, you know. Like, I'll, I'll take fine. some insight. So we are doing a full seven-round mock draft for each nfc east team so it is going to be nuts we got the pff mock draft simulator you know industry standard right here so you guys got the best right here i I, is there anything you want to talk about before we dive into this thing because i'm getting antsy i'm ready to play yeah yeah. let's let's go you know it'll be with free agency under belt there still be some moves of free agency from now the draft even afterwards in may but uh yeah, interesting time for uh, mock drafting. So let's get into it. Yeah, and I, I'm glad that we waited till after free agency because all the team needs have changed. You know, things have right. progressed. Uh, the Giants traded the second, their first second round pick for Brian Burns. So like everybody who is you know picking with that assumption, that's now gone. So uh, yeah, let's get into this. And also, I want to shout out our first angry commenter, Hector. Thank you so much. Please let us know how awful we did at GM. After this, I would I want a full paragraph again, full anger. Give it to me. Give me my worst. You know, tell me how bad my mustache is. Um, and yeah, let's uh, let's dive into this, Jeremy. All let's right, go. you got the screen. You see it, right? I do. We are, en- we are entering the draft. Okay. Bears are on the clock. Let's see who are they going to pick? Are they going to pick JJ McCarthy? Let's hope not. <laughs> <laughs> and they picked Caleb Williams. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. I am playing Adam Peters. I am the Washington Commanders here. Uh, I saw that today that the Commanders have not decided who they're taking at quarterback. Drake May has been the favorite all off season for quarterback two. Jaden Daniels with his Heisman hype. I mean, he rocketed up the boards this year. I feel like if I'm the commanders, though, Drake may might have the worst tape out of every single quarterback. Mm-hmm. So I am going to go. But I kind of want to see, because of all this hype, if Jaden Daniels would fall to the Giants at six. Where are you going here? Are you going Jaden Daniels or are you going Drake May? Well, truthfully, it's still early in the mock draft period. We have a whole nother month, which I think time will really tell within yeah. the next few weeks where they're going. Oh, I don't like Drake May that much, but I Me think neither. 
I think you have to go for him. Uh, I think he has the Daniel, highest upside, highest ceiling for sure. I do too. I think I think that's the one thing about Daniels is ceiling wise, I don't know how high it is, but he's done great work in college and he's really improved since transferring from Arizona State to go to LSU and to lead that program, even though they lost several games uh, last year, must be noted. Yeah. Um, Their defense is also abysmal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he also had a lot of talent with him, too. Uh, throwing yep. to Brian Thomas and uh, Malik Neighbors, two studs. Um, yeah. I think I'd go Drake May here, realistically, and Washington-wise. I think so too. I think they they move on from one North Carolina quarterback to another. Right. Let's do it. Let's do Drake May. I mean, he's been like there's all this hype. Will Levis was going to be the first quarterback off the board at one time in April last year, and he fell to the second round. So I think there's a lot of smoke. Some people are even saying JJ McCarthy gets drafted at two. But for all my Commanders fans here, I'm gonna maybe make you a little mad because I am going Drake May. All right. Okay. No way. No way. There is no way. I hope that happens in real life. No way. <laughs> Marvin Harrison, Malik Neighbors, and Roman Dunes, they go one, two, three. I can say it. Okay. You know what, though? Because th- 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 this could happen. This this has been talked about. <laughs> and I think that – the I don't know because I feel like the Cardinals might move back. With right. like, if Marv Harrison is taken, I think that the Chargers or the Cardinals are moving back. But the Chargers now need a wide receiver really bad. Mm-hmm. With Hollywood Brown gone in Arizona, they have one of the worst receiving cores in, in the league too. I mean, who they have? Yep. Michael Wilson. You know, they don't really have a tight end either. I mean, they have Trey McBride from a few years ago, but he really hasn't panned out. So, I mean, this is where I'm. Th- this is. I literally said I'm taking Drake May at two so that I can do this. So I am going. Jaden Daniels, I, like the Giants have loved him. They talked to him. They gave him the po- laser pointer at the combine. They said that they mm. sounded like they already drafted him. So uh, I think this is the dream scenario for the Giants, honestly, because as much as I love Roma Dunze, I love Malik Neighbors, I love Marvin Harrison. In the second round, there is going to be a first round talent wide receiver available. So, okay, you know what? I'm actually, I was mad because I saw all the wide receivers going, but I'm going Jaden Daniels, baby. Joe Shane, Jaden Daniels, we got a running quarterback. Let's do it. I love it. I love it. We just got the Heisman. Okay, your Eagles are on the board. You see the screen here. I think all of the cornerbacks are off the board. All of the the first round worthy cornerbacks. There are I mean, this is a deep cornerback draft. Where what do you want me looking at? This is the top of the board. We do have Jackson Powers Johnson. I feel like you guys already kind of have your Jason Kelsey replacement. Yeah, I, I really like Jack. I really like Jackson Powers Johnson, even still. Um, not great uh, value, to be honest. Yeah. Because if you, you have a replacement and whatnot, even though if you kept Jurgens at guard, he'd be fine. I don't think the value is there, but I do like him. It would be interesting, and I think it could work. Um, wow. Can I see Can I see the cornerback uh, – Yes, uh, you can. Yeah. Let's see what cornerbacks are because av- Nate Wiggins is even off the board. So you have oh, you still have Kool Aid McKinstry. Yeah. Now I mean he was he was like the number one corner going into the year, and I feel like Terry and Arnold. Yes. Kind of stole that from him from his own school. Both are very good. Arnold probably has a higher ceiling. It didn't help Kool Aid either that he had to play three years at Alabama. It's not like he sat out his first year and he has two years of tape. Uh, of growth he had to play three years so i think hype wise it was just a lot of pressure to produce every year um eagles don't go cornerbacks in the first round that the people have said like there are times where they would have but someone fell yada 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 it would be nice to have a stud for four years under team control at a nice price with kool-aid so i do like that as a fallback um yeah. i wouldn't in this situation i wouldn't be surprised if the eagles moved down too could I see the defensive end market? There is a really good defensive end. I think perhaps the best defensive end available in the number two prospects right here. Uh, PFF has him ranked 20 on their big board. Latu Latu. So he almost had to medically retire. 
Yes, I'm. But, they, said that but he's, they said that he's clear. Everything wow. seems to check out. He ha- he's the he's the most polished pass rusher. Has the most moves under his belt. Physically, Dallas Turner and Jared Verse, I think, outrank him. But if you're looking for somebody who is going to be the best pass rusher starting week one, Latu Latu, especially with the the uh, Hassan Reddick trade rumors that are floating around. So, what do you think? Yeah. His health wise, it was a concern. Obviously, he's back during the combat. He was also talking about retirement stuff, which don't love. Do not um, love a little no. petty, but like, I don't know. It's a little alarming. Um, can I just see? Can I see the? Uh, can I see all the defensive ends? Ooh, oh, Brian Thomas. Ooh. Brian Thomas being still available is kind of nuts. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. Do you you want to see the wide receivers? Because I mean, there's yeah, a lot. Wide yeah, there's. Brian, well, I I, I could see the Eagles doing this, even though you guys have, have like a bunch of scrubs like that are kind of washed, like Paris Campbell. You guys picked. I like seeing Eagles fans talk about how Paris Campbell's going to help their team. Yeah, he's track. not. I'll be yeah. honest. He's a. I think he's a good camp body. Someone like Paris Campbell is a good camp body to see if he can maybe win the last spot. Um, he's not a good player, and he hasn't been good. Um, in the NFL, really. But, yeah, as a camp body, it's not – yeah, there's Tal, uh, R- Roman Wilson. Um, let's go Let's go to the defensive ends. I'll try defensive to speak this up. Okay, we'll go back to the defensive ends here. Boop, 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 boop. The Eagles, if they put Brian Thomas on this team, oh, my God, they would – it would just Sorry, be – I'm going to get rid of the wide receiver. Boom. Okay, so, I mean, you have Latu Latu, love him. Uh, Chris Braswell was somebody who, when the Giants originally still had the second round pick, it didn't have Brian Burns. I love Chris Braswell. And then Chop Robinson, Darius Robinson has been getting a lot of hype. He's yep. a big body. Adisa Isaac's good, but I feel like you don't take him in the first. I mean, I, I don't see how you p- pass up on Latu Latu if you're going edge here. I, th- yeah, I think he I... could be the first defensive player taken in this draft with the Falcons at, at eight. Yeah, I'd be concerned about his health, honestly. Um yeah. I think I don't know if they would do this. I think uh, can I see tack can I see tackles, defensive yes, tackle. There is there, yeah. oh defensive tackle. Okay. Yeah. Maybe off. You want to see? Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, all the all the big names are off the board too. Like, I mean, Braden Fisk is good, but I feel like he's oh, more of a no tackle. This is just defensive. A, this is the interior. Never- yeah. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go Kool Aid McKinstry. Okay. I yeah. honestly, I feel like cornerback was always your need in the first round. So it is, I mean, you want to go best of them. Still good. Yeah. I like it. I mean, I, I, and the thing is too, Kool Aid, like he didn't have as much hype this season because I feel like they were targeting Terry and Arnold too. And Terry and Arnold did a great job, which raised Arnold did a good job of making plays. Uh, Kool Aid, you can put anywhere. He's probably best in zone defense. Um, but in, in this world, there's so many cornerbacks that uh, don't specialize in the right word, but aren't elite in man to man anymore because receivers are just too good. So. Um, you also get a cornerback that they can control for four years who should be able to start from day one. All right. So Kool-Aid McKinstry, you are a Philadelphia Eagle. Just to uh, recap, though, Quinian Mitchell was the first corner taken. Would you align with that? If you could get any of these corners, would you say Quinian Mitchell is the guy? Him or, him or Arnold, yeah. It's yeah. I, I tomato, tomato, in my opinion. Maybe, maybe Mitchell's a little ahead of him, but yeah. Okay, so I was looking into this. You're the Dallas Cowboy. You're Jerry Jones yeah. right now. How does it feel to be Jerry Jones? Old, not great. <laughs> I feel like I have to hold my back. Uh, geez, Dallas needs a lot. So, oh well, my I, God. I feel like with Tyron Smith gone, I've been kind of looking at the offensive line. And they also lost uh, their center, Tyler Beatus, to um, the Commanders. They, I think they've only signed Eric Kendricks in free agency. Yeah. So. They have Men, a lot of needs. They need a lot. They have a lot of good options here, which would be good for them. Mims is a good option. Brian Thomas is a good option. 
Um, they certainly love the linebacker position. So Peyton Wilson wouldn't, I guess, surprise me. I see Peyton Wilson too. I just don't know if he could be, I mean, I could like, he's ranked 26 here. And I feel like the Cowboys have done weird things. Like they, yeah. they, they drafted, they've also drafted best player available when they got CD lamb. They had Amari Cooper. Michael Gallup was still considered to be a good, like potential a thousand yard receiver. And obviously CD lamb is one of the best receivers in the league. So that worked out for him. And also their Tyler Smith pick really worked out for him. I kind of actually like Graham Barton because he's a versatile, like he's a good, he could be great at tackle. You can also move him inside a guard. I kind of like Graham Barton there, but Amarius Mims is a physical freak. And then Jackson's powers. Johnson might be one of the best centers we see in the draft ever. You sort of, you you sort of have to think of what Jerry Jones would do. And I yeah. think I think he was looking at that wide receiver room last year and thinking, not good enough. I, and he'd be right. Um, yeah. We need more than CD. Oh, I, I think you could do a number of things. He has gone off book in some smart ways recently, too. Yeah. I think I'd put Brian Thomas there. But, but do you think he'd go A.D. Mitchell? I mean, I think Brian Thomas is – I don't know. Yeah, that, at that point. But A.D. Mitchell know. because, like, you know, I feel like he does, like, his Oklahoma-Texas guy. So even Tyler Guyton, I see, is a very athletic tackle. Um, I believe he, he also, like, transitioned from tight end. So he's, like, you know, mm. he's kind of new to the tackle position. But I think he has a bunch of upside if he gets it together and good coaching, which, you know, the Cowboys have been known for developing really good offensive line talent. But where did you, I feel like Brian Thomas too. If he falls all the way to twenty four, I'm surprised he's he's this far. Me too. I don't Brian think that's going to be the case in real life. But I would say no I would way. say Thomas. I could even see them going AD Mitchell here too. Mm-hmm. But yeah. with with Thomas on the board, I feel like you have to go Thomas. Mm-hmm. Thomas. All right, sure. we're getting him. All right, first round recap. We have the Commanders taking Drake May. Then it went. Three wide receivers in a row. So the Giants take Jaden Daniels. Uh, the Eagles, they get the last, I think, qualified first-round cornerback talent in Kool-Aid McKinstry. And Brian Thomas Jr. falls to the Cowboys, and they take him. That's the little first-round recap. Now we are back with the Commanders. They got their quarterback of the future. They still have a lot of questions, I feel like. Cornerback, I think, is definitely still a need for them. Mm. Um, but I don't really like Mikey Sandersill because he, he's more of a slot guy. I mean, I I really like Mikey Sandersill. I just don't I like him. Yeah, he's high. he is rank thirty six. We're at pick thirty six. I feel like Kamari Lasseter is more like an outside corner, which is what they could use. Um, or do you get another receiver and? And bolster it. I mean, Jahan Dotson's great, former first round talent. Terry McLaurin's still one Losing of the best. Losing Curtis players. Samuel is a big deal for them. Not I a think star, so too. not a Expe- lead. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a loss. He, he, he did a lot around the line of skirmish downfield. Yeah, not to mention even like tight end, they have Zach Ertz, which, like, yeah, Zach Ertz was still like efficient last year with the Cardinals. But I could. I mean, I don't know if they use this pick for Jatavian Sanders, but I really like Jatavian Sanders. Ooh, Michael Penix is still there. They're not going quarterback, quarterback, but just like mm. to see how it falls. Um, actually, edge rusher, too. What am I saying? Edge rusher, like, they really haven't addressed They need a that. lot. They can't go wrong yeah. with the pick, really. And I really like Chris Braswell, but let's see if our guy Chop Robinson is still available because I they've compared him body type and athletic type. He is not available. Let's see. He must have won. Oh, he went 32 to the Chiefs. Because I, he's gotten a lot of comparisons to Micah Parsons, and obviously Dan Quinn has a lot of familiarity with that. Mm. I think Chris Braswell is more of a traditional defensive end. Darius Robinson had a really good senior bowl and I think raised up, rised up boards. But yeah, I'm, I'm going Chris Braswell, I'm thinking. Good pick. All right. Chris Braswell. Bam, that is your Chase Young replacement. And the commanders are on the clock again. <laughs> Pick 40. <laughs> All right. I Do you get Mikey Sandersill and you have that like lockdown 
slot, but then they also, in the second round last year, got that guy out of Illinois that's kind of like a slot safety hybrid. So I don't know if that's kind of already addressed. Martin? Uh, yeah, 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 Martin. Quan Martin, mm-hmm. I believe. I feel like he, he's somebody who goes by like three different names. Um, yeah. Let's see here. I like a lot of these guys. Ooh, even Javon Bullard's pretty solid. I think Tyler Newbin's off the board here. I am going to go. I mean, even Jordan Morgan's a really good tackle too. And I feel like mm-hmm. they could use that. You know what? I feel like Dan Quinn really values and his cornerbacks. He did a really good job at, you know, forming Trayvon Diggs into one of the best corners in the league. And then Deron Bland too. I feel like he kind of wants to pick a corner and develop him himself. And I think Kamari Lassiter has everything that he needs. And I think that Kamari Lassiter, if this wasn't as deep as a corner class could be a first round talent. So I'm going to go Kamari Lassiter out of Georgia. Okay. They get better on defense. Yeah, anyone you add to that defense in this draft early on, it's going to help yeah. them. So. Yeah. And now the Giants. Okay. Man. So since we got Jaden Daniels, I do want to yep. see here, too, is, is my boy uh, Michael Penix was taken by the Raiders. So that's something that I do want to address, too, because I think more realistically – Jaden Daniels is not going to be available. I think you might have four quarterbacks off the boards by the time the Giants pick, especially the Vikings arming up to take everybody. I think, mm. I think, and the Giants really love Michael Penix, like yesterday at his pro day. Brian Dable, Joe Shane, they're all over him. I mean, they're evaluating all the quarterbacks. But Michael Penix, if we don't get him in round one, which we're not going to take him at six, I don't believe. But if we traded back, say, for somebody to get J.J. McCarthy – he could be somebody that we get at, you know, 11, 12, whoever we trade mm-hmm. back for. But he's not going to be available at our pick at, at 47 in the second round because all the people who need quarterbacks in the first round, if they don't grab them in the first round, they're ahead of us in the second round. So if we're going to get somebody like Michael Pettix, we would have to trade up. Um, but because we got Jaden Daniels, we still need a wide receiver one. There are wide receiver ones available in the second round here. Keon Coleman is somebody who's been falling, but oh, I I love Ricky Pearsall. Ricky Pearsall is a freak. He makes crazy catches. He's a physical freak. But I feel like Keon Coleman is more in the mold of a wide receiver one, and I don't think that the Giants have a body type with a contested catcher like that. I'm going to go Keon Coleman. Keon Coleman, okay. I feel like he's a steal. He was like one of the highest rated wide receivers and then his kind of fall and his production was kind of iffy, but uh, there's a lot of good wide receivers still on the board here. Xavier McGett, Jaylen, yeah. Xavier Worthy, a lot of good wide receivers here. Yes. Where do I do tight end two? Nope. Keon Coleman, you're a giant. All right. Eagles are on the board. What are you feeling here? A lot of talent, which I like. Of course, it is round two. Let's look at the linebacker. Let's see if uh, let's see what we got going there. Is off the board, but there is Edgerin Cooper is still there, and I really like, and take him. Holes, take him, Edgerin Cooper. Take him. Don't need any more. Right That's all you needed. He's if he's available, I like him as a linebacker. Uh, Junior Colson's good. Trotter Junior is a little small. Uh, yeah. Eagles. Have they, they love the small linebackers, and it, it hurts them ultimately. Um, Edron Cooper, he's a he's a good player and someone who I think could uh, start from day one. Yeah, he's a freak. Look at that. Pass yep. the trade, run defense. I feel size with everything. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's, uh, and I honestly think, especially because Peyton Wilson has had those injuries too, I, I was thinking Edron Cooper might even be the first linebacker taken. But I, I if you can get him, yeah. yeah. But, hey, I could see the board following this. I could see Edwin Cooper available for your second-round pick at 50. So, yeah. bam, take him. He is gone. Eagles are on the clock again at 53. Can you go to wide receiver? 
Yes, I can. Uh, and I do want to say to Tavian Sanders, I know you guys have Dallas Goddard, but I mean, yes, you guys have Goddard is, and Hurts at the same time. Very interesting Dallas pick. I think Sanders can make sense. Um, so this is this is true love for me. I don't know. How <laughs> it. You're excited. I like it. Please draft Xavier Leggett for me. Leggett, not worthy. Yes. Okay, I like Xavier Leggett too. I'm just going to pull up his. Worthy's interesting because he'll be more relevant too with the new kickoff rules. Yes, only thing that's about, what I'm saying. Only thing about Worthy to me is he's like, he's like, you know, he's kind of like maybe not exactly the same. He's kind of like a Jalen Hyatt. Runs yeah. really fast, can run really down the field, route running stuff uh, a little closer. Not exactly sure. I like Worthy. There's nothing wrong with him, um, but this kid, I mean, he's, yeah, I, I like him a lot. He has a major Southern draw to uh, when he speaks, kind of like Devonte Smith. Um, well, you're talking about Xavier Legat, right? Legat, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I think that I, I, and I really do think like, I, I was considering Brian Burns to the first, I don't think they'll do it. It would be a luxury. The Eagles need to punch teams in the mouth with their offense. That's what they're built with. And yeah, yeah there's only one football, but if you have threats like Saquon, AJ Brown, Devonte Smith, Dallas Goddard, yes. And then you add another receiver like that. It's going to be tough to defend this team. You have to help Jalen Hurts out as much as you can. It's just it's just the way it is. Not a big deal, but it is the way it is. I think that's a home run draft pick with. Um, oh, Xavier Leggett. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I I just like worthy, like you said, because of this new kickoff, and I feel like yeah. the Eagles would be on top of that too. I feel like would be very I, interesting. Every team is looking throughout this draft. I think every team in the NFL would be smart to look for a kick returner at some yep. point in this draft. Like yep. somebody who's a specialist in that. Like Cordero Patterson, I wanted him so bad. He gets signed as soon as they change the rules to the to Yeah, the that was funny. Um, and that's, I think that's a great pick. I mean, Cordero Patterson's one of the best returners of all time, you know? Yeah. Um, okay, I'm doing Leggett. You want Leggett? I like Leggett. Big body guy. Uh, this was the first year he really had all the production, but I love him. Uh, yes. Cowboys. Okay. There's a lot of oh All Jonathan. Right, Brooks. Who, did I, who did I pick with the first pick for the Cowboys? Brian Thomas. Uh, Brian Thomas Jr. Okay. So I was going to say even Xavier Worthy, which I did he go off the board yet? No, he did not. So Xavier Worthy is somebody who I I just don't know if they would go. We Brian need a Thomas. tackle. I got to be. They honest. do need a tackle. Um, I don't really love the tackles that are available now. I do love guard Christian Haynes. Haynes is a good guard, yeah. And then you can move Tyler Smith out to tackle. I could see them doing that. I feel like Christian Haynes also had a really good senior bowl. Just a baller, destroying everybody. Good in the run. Good blocking. See, run blocking grade, pass blocking grade. I mean, he's in the 80s. He is, he's good. I kind of just like, I don't know. You, do you want to go Christian Haynes? Because Tyler Smith was good at tackle too. I know he was like an all-pro guard this year. Yeah, it would what be interesting. Season, yeah. Let me uh, – let's see. Guy. Yeah. They still have the number one running back on the board, Texas guy coming off the ACL. I, 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 we had this talk before. I think that Jonathan Brooks has the potential to be the first running back off the board. I think he's he would have been a first round talent if he doesn't. Oh, I think he will be. Yeah, I think the Cowboys are going. I, I feel like they're the team that's going to take the first running back, and I think that's been a lot of hype, especially because they don't have a running back right now. I think the only they running need back one. Have Deuce Vaughn, and I don't know if you guys want a five yeah. six running back as your workhorse. They brought but, back Donald though. Um, did they bring back Donald? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that. yeah, that's a needle mover. <laughs> <laughs> um. Ugh. I I like O line or running back here. Do you want to see say on these running back? I mean, they have all the running no, backs. Trey Benson. Like I, I mean, he's a little bit farther down, but I think Trey Benson. Give me. Uh, let me see the tackles. All right. You want me to do guard and tackle or just tackle? Nah, just tackle. 
Uh, I'm not gonna lie, Dominic Puny. He's a good name, but the, like even these, look where they're at. I they, think, yeah, I, I think I'll go. The I think I'll go the tackle from Yale. Tackle from Yale. Kieran, well, we know a mega, a mega. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we know, so well, we know like... about him is that he's smart, which actually yeah. goes the long way. Um, yep. And I, I assume he's good. Listen, I. Yeah. Hey, dude. 80, 88 run blocking grade. When you don't have a running back, you're gonna need somebody who can actually block. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's true. And Eighty pass blocking. I. Hey, I'll take him. There you go. There we go. Boom. Kieran Amajaje. All right. Second round is done. Uh, do you want to do a quick recap for that? We get. Uh, let's see. Commanders getting Chris Braswell, Edge, and Kamari Lasseter, bolstering that defense after taking Drake May. Giants getting a wide receiver one and Keon Coleman. Eagles finally get a linebacker and Edger and Cooper. Hopefully he can mm. actually play. Uh, and then they bolster with another talent, Xavier Leggett. I know you're stoked about that. I see the happiness on your face. And then I'm excited. The- I like my team. I like it. The Cowboys, they replaced Tyron Smith with Kieran Amajade. <laughs> you wanna you wanna try for that? Because I no, that's no, the name. No. <laughs> I, I, I apologize. Kieran, Kieran, you try to say it. It doesn't do me any it wouldn't do me any good trying to say it. So we okay, move on. You, you see the end here. Jonathan Brooks was the first running back taken by the 49ers. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, All right, 49ers. Christian Haynes was also just off the board. Which, mm. And the third round, top of the third, which I could see that happening. Jalen McMillan was also just taken. All right. So let's see here. I love Junior Colson, but I think linebacker is probably one of the deepest positions for the commanders right now with Bobby Wagner, mm-hmm. Jamin Davis, and um, yep. uh, Frankie Lou. So that's definitely yep. not happening. Uh, wide receivers. I kind of love this. Devontae Walker pairing him back up yeah. with Drake May as their wide receiver three. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's like a match made in heaven. And Devontae Walker was somebody who we saw in the first rounds before he had an awful senior bowl. Just looked abysmal. Could not catch anything. But he's got all the he's got all the talent. Here's his numbers. Washington, lie, they're, they're, like gonna, numbers. they're gonna replenishing their wide receiver room and they they've always had like Decent talent, so. Seems... Well, they also have uh, the other North Carolina wide receiver who hasn't panned out as much, but he's oh, – what, what is his name? Diami Brown. Yeah. Yeah, Diami Brown, who had some good games with Sam Howell last year. But, yep, yeah, you know what? I'm doing it. Yeah, against the Eagles. Yeah, that one catch. Yeah, kept that yeah. All, yeah the Eagles. all right, I'm doing it. I'm pairing him up. I, I actually love this match rate in that. Plus, you're, you're, you're showing Drake that you support him. You're getting him his guy that he already has a rapport with. Tez Walker to the commanders. I like, oh, I love the way this paid out for the Giants. Love yeah, I, because there's a guy who I think could be a good fit here. Jalen Wright is somebody who I has been a, I've been obsessed with. He is my favorite running back in this draft because Blake Horam, great injury stuff. Jonathan Brooks, great injury stuff. Jalen Wright coming out of Tennessee. He, I think his like height, weight, and combine numbers were like almost identical and better than Alvin Kamara. Mm-hmm. He's explosive. He's fast as heck. We need a running back. I don't care. I love Devin Singletary. I don't love Devin Singletary, <laughs> but I, I've 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 come to terms with Devin Singletary. But I said the Giants need to come out of this draft with a running back, and having the second running back available on the board. And who I think might be one of the best running backs in this draft by far, I am going Jalen Wright. What well, is that the pick that you were looking That's at? That's who I was thinking. It's so listen, Giants fans, don't get too excited. You have to use a high value third round pick on a running back, which value wise, eh. But yeah, you'd rather pay I, Saquon Barkley seventeen a year, right? <laughs> my king. Um, <laughs> I like I like Jalen yeah. Wright a lot. Um, I, I think it's nice to have him and Singletary, not have Singletary as the lead back. I doubt the Giants want that uh, for next year um, if they want to win. Although I don't know if next year's plan really the plan is for them to win a lot of games. So I, I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's they need a running back. 
Jalen Wright's a good running back. Um, nice pick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do want to say Devondre Sweat, too, because we did lose Sean. I think, like, the only depth we really have at defensive line, aside from Dex, is uh, Jordan Riley, who was our fifth or sixth round pick last year, who I really yeah. liked. But um, Devondre Sweat is looking pretty appealing as well because he is a mm-hmm. beast. And he's hilarious. Yes. But I'm going Jalen Wright because, honestly, the Giants need to win now. The offense needs to look better. And Jalen Wright is going to be a weapon. Boom. All right. Commanders are back up here. Blake Corum still on the board. Ooh, man. We already went Kamari Lasseter, but I really like Max Millen. Really like Max mm-hmm. Millen. And I like Jamari Thrush, too. And that's this is the guy who I really, really like, Malachi Corley. I think mm-hmm. we've talked about it before, right? I know that they just went Tez yep. Walker, but Malachi Corley is is like a running back, Debo Samuel type. I feel like he might be good at this kick return with this new kick return rules too. Really like him. But I think actually this has to be the pick for me. Cameron Kitchens. Safety. They let Curl walk. They got Jeremy Chin, yes. Um they have Quan Martin too, like I said, but I feel like they, I don't think you pass up on Kitchens, who I think is probably like the second safety in this draft. What do you think? Yeah, it's not a bad pick. They need safeties. Um, they need to keep getting younger. So they need to, they need, they need defenders in general and people, especially in the secondary. Uh, Kitchens, I think it's Stropulo in the drafts. So it makes sense that he's here. Um, yeah. And it's a yeah, I think I think it's a pick that they would uh, they would benefit from for sure. Yeah, or do you think that they should address the O line? I don't think you could go wrong with anything for them. <laughs> All right, Cameron yeah. Kitchens, I think yeah. best player available, Cameron Kitchens. All right, and we are at the Cowboys. So the Cowboys did not go Jonathan Brooks, but they need a running back, and mm-hmm. I think Trey Benson is another running back that might be one of the best in the league, like mm-hmm. the best out of this draft. Um, he's six one. He's an absolute unit. Mm. He killed it for Florida state. Yeah. I'm going to go. Actually, no, this is your pick. I, sorry, Jerry. <laughs> this isn't a pick for you as Joe Shane, dude. This is your pick. What are you, what are you thinking, man? Well, I'm going to go off now. Um, uh, <laughs> let me see what, let me see what they need. Um, so, running back, I mean, running back is number one receiver, which they got Brian Thomas already. Tackle they need a linebacker. Oh, I could see them doing this just to spite the Eagles, too. Um, I could see that. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I'll go Trotter here. Yeah? Yeah. All right, here we go. I kind of like this, too, because if they do neglect running back, I kind of want to see who's available for them in round four. Yeah, you can always push that back yeah. to that position. All right, and the Commanders with another round three pick. Ooh, okay. Ray Davis. He was a Temple guy at one point. Temple guy, absolutely. Yeah. Marshawn Lloyd, really like him. Let's see. I, I love Tommy Eichenberg, but like I said, they are like the deepest at linebacker. It just really wouldn't make sense. Right. Ooh, I kind of do want to see what tight ends are available here. There is a lot of good tight ends here. And I feel like this is something that they can do because they really, like I said, they have Zach Ertz. Mm-hmm. I think Cade Stover is the all around right here. Theo Johnson, physical freak. Dolan Holker is actually really great too. I was just watching yeah. PFF. They were talking about a story where they caught him at Colorado State breaking in to the facility at night with his girlfriend to use the jug machines. <laughs> they caught him because somebody kept breaking into the facility and they're like, oh, it's just Holker. <laughs> Holker getting better at his hands. <laughs> um, I love that. I love that, dude. Um, yeah, I'm going to go Cade Stover to get this going because I, f- I feel like he's the name that a lot of people like. I like Ben Sinnott too. Ben Sinnott, you know, he's kind of mm-hmm. like a, a little bit of a bulkier, a little bit of a shorter tight end. But, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go Cade Stover. I like okay. him. I feel like he was kind of 
hidden at Ohio State with Marvin Harrison, and then they uh, yeah. Buka. But yeah, Cade Silver to the Commanders. Giants are now on the clock. Round four. We already got our running back, but this is where if we didn't, this is the running backs that I really like. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Safety is one of our needs. I have I know nothing about Sion Vaki. Not gonna lie. <laughs> this, this is gonna happen as you get farther in the draft, you know? But yeah. he's the number one player on the board. Do not like his chart whatsoever, but that's a fourth round safety for you. And we've gone safety in these like in these fourth, fifth, sixth rounds a few times and just kind of just mm -hmm. stacked it up and kept throwing darts at it. But Dwayne Carter is somebody who I do know, and like I said, we still have a defensive interior need. So I am going D. Wayne Carter. Mm. Big body boy. For the Giants. Eagles on the clock. Where are we going here? Well, can I see the guys I've taken already today? Oh, it's I'm just a break. To... Yeah, it's just a three. So you guys did Edgerin Cooper, Kool-Aid McKinstry, and Xavier Leggett, right? Yep. Um, Elijah Jones, the corner, I like. The running back from Notre Dame is interesting. Andre got some eight. Yeah, I know a lot of people are high on it. Ooh, I like Cooper BB too. Has been like a big mm -hmm. name for guard. But I mean, you know, you guys are pretty set. Yeah. Mohamed Kamara too. I've heard really good things about him as an edge mm -hmm. rusher. Will Shipley. There's, I mean, these these running backs, like, there's going to be good running backs all the way into the seventh round, I feel. Yeah. Can we We've go to tight end? Go to. Oh, yeah. Tight end. Okay. This guy's getting – oh, they're still here. I feel like you go Theo Johnson, huh? Uh, I'm going to go with Ben. No, just kidding. I'm going to go with Theo Johnson. Yeah. I feel you got your happy valley. Saquon's Big buy. I don't love Penn State guys because Temple, but yeah. big body uh, can catch, which is big. I think that this team needs uh, more offensive threats, believe it or not, and definitely a tight end too. So Theo Johnson's the pick. And he's and he's a physical freak too. I think he put up like some of the best numbers of the combine. So, mm -hmm. And I feel like that's though it's that's the Eagles. They're picking for what he can be. And uh, yeah, Theo Johnson, there we go. Commanders are on the clock and – Oh, everybody at the top of the board are, are running back and linebacker. Do you could you see them addressing running back again, even with Austin Eckler and then Brian Robinson, and then they also have uh, Chris Rodriguez. Chris Rodriguez, thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, maybe because none of them are special. Eckler, no. Eckler towards the end of his career, injury prone. Um, Brian Robinson's my guy. What a story, too. But he's not like Love doesn't feel like he's a lead back. Chris Rodriguez is nice. Seems like he could change a pace, but I also don't think he's a lead back. Maybe, but they've just gone so he uh, they've gone so heavy in running back in the last recent years. So Ooh, I can you think see if it. you could swing it, Kalen King too, who is somebody who had like first round talent and then had one of the worst seasons ever this year. Yeah, but he has he has the ability if he's coached correctly. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that too. I don't know. I could see it. I could. You know what? I like Isaac Durando too because he's a speedster, so he's going to be something a little bit different in that room. Because I feel like Brian Robinson's more of a bruiser, and then Austin Eckler, small, elusive, pass catching back. All right, give it to me. What do you think? Cornerback or running back? I'm it's, I'm getting. Do we already take a cornerback for them? We did with Kamari Lasseter, but I feel like cornerback something where you want depth. And especially in the fifth round, like throwing a dart at another cornerback, I don't think it's the worst idea. Yeah, okay. Go Kalen King. Yeah. I'm going to go Kalen King. Yeah. I, mm. I, I like him. Let's see. Just pull up his numbers real quick so people see how awful he was last year. 55 coverage grade. Yeah. No, he – he uh, no bueno. <laughs> Especially because, like, Joey Porter Jr. was great 
with him. I wonder yeah. if that's not having another like CB one. I guess it's interesting. Him, mm-hmm. Going Kalen King here. Shot in the dark. All right, New York Football Giants. Man, this is the part of the draft where I don't really know most people. But I told that story about Dolan Hulker. I really like him. I feel like the Giants like smart, tough, dependable. I'm going Hulker. I'm going Hulker because Darren Waller, I think, is going to announce his album and retire on the same day. I, I, that's not my original theory. I think that was a uh, talking Giants theory, but I, I could see that happening to get all that the hype. The before the season? I mean, he's been talking about it. I follow him on Instagram. It's hilarious because he keeps promoting his new album and his rap music, and it's just mm-hmm. all Giants fans like, so you retired? You retired? You retired? Are you the player or not? <laughs> it's, I love it. I love it. And he doesn't address any of it, you know? It's like nobody cares about your album, Darren. I apologize. Right. You know, I, 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 nobody cared about Young Joka, the Canarius Tony music. That was garbage. Um <laughs> You know, what? I'm gonna t- I'm gonna go with a guy who doesn't care about rapping and cares about breaking the facility to uh, catch balls with his wife. So, Dolan Hulker to the Giants, like him, I like him, mm. and I feel like that that's the kind of going to be the sweet spot for the tight ends. I feel like they're in the, like the third to fifth rounds. Uh, Commanders back, man. Commanders, you guys just have a million picks. <laughs> <laughs> they need them. What do you think about Joe Milton? Well, what do you think? I mean, they took RG3 and Kirk Cousins in the same draft. They did. Um, Obviously, this is totally different. So they, they took uh, – who did they take? They took, Drake, they took Drake May. Drake May, yep. Who else do they have? Who do they have? Uh, Mariota. Mariota for quarterback. I think those are the only two right now. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think they could do Milton. <laughs> No, he's not. I feel like you just want to throw Milton in to throw bombs, you know? Do they need and, any like, defensive? Yeah. They that still need def- defense for sure. I have, I mean, we Nathan had him doubling Smith. up a corner. Yeah. Well, I feel like defensive interior, I mean, maybe you're getting ready for life without Jonathan Allen or Deron Payne. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is a, a round where you do draft depth regardless, so – but I also like getting a Michigan on lineman for them too, a Zach Center at guard. I think if I'm a Commanders fan, I want more depth, and we haven't, I think, addressed O line once. So, mm. do you agree with that? Yeah, you got to. You got to. Yeah, they need they need everything. It's Washington. Yeah, let's go Zach Center. If it's Michigan, their O line, like you heard. Um, Harbaugh talking about how everything revolves around the O-line. It's the most mm-hmm. important. You know, he valued his Michigan O-lineman, and I think that would be a good pick. Eagles, where are you looking, man? Where are you looking? Do you Let's want go. Joe Milton? Uh, no. Um, <laughs> it, would, it would be a Howie move. It would be a quarterback factory move, but yeah. uh, let's look at defensive end. Defensive end. Let's see who we have for edge here. Yes. Boo. All right. Nobody I recognize. Nobody uh, I recognize, but you got the Michigan guys. And I feel like when Wait. you have a team like Michigan who is so dominant, I I don't think it's We don't honestly probably pick the wrong Michigan. one. Let's look at uh, – Yeah, because there's two of them in a row. Let's look at uh, – <laughs> Uh, maybe safety. Yeah, let's see. Because you guys have CJ GJ. Yeah. Bob. Yeah, heard of him. Um, let's look at running I, back. Running. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because I mean, so you guys have Saquon. You have Kenneth Gainwell. Yep. Did Bart Scott come back? The Giants killer. Uh, he's he's a he's still a free agent. Yeah, I mean, I feel like he might be all the way. Ooh, Frank Gore Jr., huh? Yeah, he's uh, he's intriguing. I remember when Williams at Ohio State was like a force. I don't know what happened to him. If you're at Ohio yeah. State, you tell me what happened to uh, Mayan Williams. My God. Um, yeah. Let's look at the big board as a whole, overall, best overall. 
cool. I really like Dylan Johnson too out of Washington. I feel like he was like Do you? Beast. Yeah, I really like Dylan Johnson out of Washington. I've watched a lot of Washington games this year because I was in love with Michael Penix. Right. Was that was your quarterback. He's still my quarterback. I still oh, love okay. him. I'll take Jaden Daniels over him if he falls to us. That's for sure. Uh, let's uh I don't know. Uh, let's go to actually. Can we go to defensive tackle? I double. Yeah. I double. Yeah. I mean, defensive. you could double down at linebacker. You could. Yeah, we could, but knowing how, he's very doubtful. Yeah. Fair. Ooh, Miles Murphy. Not to say Miles Murphy out of Clemson, but right. Uh. Give me the new I've Hampshire heard good things back. about Jordan. Which, which one are you looking for? New Hampshire running back, Dylan. Uh, Wait, Dylan, you mean the Washington running back? No. Dylan oh, you want Dylan Love out of New yeah. Hampshire. Okay. I actually am not familiar with this game, not going to lie. but I've heard rumblings. I mean, I like his numbers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. You only had 10 games. 4.6 yards per carry. All right. Still in love. Boom. You are an eagle. And the eagles are up again. Man, Joe Milton is staring you right in the face. <laughs> um, you sure how he wouldn't like? Dude, I mean, Joe Milton, too. I draft. Dude, he he's, he's fast. He's physical. He's huge. Like... Let me see if I can pull up his height and weight and everything. First look. 6'5", 235. Right. Like, I mean, he could be – you could move him to wide receiver. You could move him to kick returner, man. You could put him off the edge with that size, dude. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna not draft Joe Milton. Um, All right, well, I'll, I'll tell you who the Giants are drafting. If he falls to us. Yeah. Let's – uh. Do we draft a tackle yet? Let's go to tackle. Let's get a tackle. OT. Let's yeah. see what we got for OT. Ooh, Terry. Hey, still got a Michigan guy up there. Uh, let's go to guard. Ooh, I actually, I know about Andrew Coker. I feel like he, he's just a name. I mean, you at this point, like you're getting into names. Like, let's. Do you think I really? You know, grinded the tape on Brandon Coleman tackle at a TCU. No, <laughs> this is yeah. where you start. You start. I'm. I'm just going to be honest here. Like, yep. I, oh, I, I yeah. do a lot of a lot of watching, a lot of studying. You said guard, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, another Penn Stater. Do they need? Yeah, they can. I'll go. Uh, well, that's Gavin, a center, though. Gavin Cohen. All right. He was at Guard, Alabama. Started oh, as a rookie, too, I think, for all those years. And yeah. then transferred to Miami for, I think, eligibility stuff. Yeah. As Good a pass graduate. blocker, bad run blocker. Mm hmm. 6'4, 305. Good size. We're drafting JV and Cohen, former Bama boy. Mm. Oh, back to back picks, man. Unbelievable. You just can't. Um, <laughs> We're still in round five, dude. Yeah. Ooh, I like Jaheim Bell, too, out of Florida State. I took Theo Johnson, though. I know. Um, did I take it? I, I haven't taken a safety yet. Let's go to safety. Let's do it. Let's, Let's go, go back to the safety. safety position. Jalen Simpson. Oh, I, I hate Auburn. Um, That's fair as a Bama boy. Oh, jeez. It's either, yeah, I mean, it's either Simpson or... Um, I like Tyler Owens out of Texas Techs. I've, I've heard good things about him, too. Have you? But his grades don't look very... It looks, actually, look, he kind of fell off in 2023, but 2021 and 2022, mm. not too shabby. 6'2", 210, good size for a safety? I don't know. Or do you want to go James Williams here? I think like go, yeah, I think we're going to go James Williams. 
Yeah, I think he's definitely better looking at. Oh, six five two fifteen. This guy's a unit, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what that's going to look like on the field. I know, <laughs> but hey, his, his grades look good. I actually like James. I'm going to do some James Williams tape after this, man. You got there Miami you go. back to back. Going to Miami. Yeah, interesting. My God, Dallas. They don't have a running back. And Dylan. I love Dylan Johnson. Yeah, I'll take Dylan, Dylan Johnson, Johnson here. Beast, six mm-hmm. feet, 220. Look at these stats. 1,200 yards in 2023. That's 14 games of still. Five yards per attempt, 5.6, 5.4. I mean, this guy moves. And uh, on a really good offense, but, yeah, Dylan Johnson. Good guy pick for them, too, in the fifth. Yeah, at round five, Dylan Johnson. like And like, the fifth, too. Yeah, I could still see Dylan Johnson being like a productive back, especially he's going to have to be because he's going to be the running back. That Rico Dottle or <laughs> Deuce Vaughn. Um, okay, Jalen Simpson. We st- still need safety. I think this is a good pick here. Mm. His run defense sucks, though, and I do not love that. But I like our linebackers and the coverage, dude. I really like how he has a 90 coverage grade. Because I mm-hmm. feel like that's kind of what we need, and I know that our boy Shane Bowen, the new defensive coordinator, really values safety play. So finally giving us safety. Sorry, Shane Bowen, but you're getting one in round six in Jalen Simpson. I'm looking into Jalen Simpson because I actually kind of like that coverage grid. All right, mm. Eagles on the clock. What are you thinking here? Um. Part of me wants to double up at running back and go. I, I, it happens. I mean, like Jamal Williams was taken before Aaron Jones in that same Packers draft. You know? Yeah, I think in the same round too. Like Frank sometimes Gordon, you just take your swing. Jason McClellan. Um, let's see the tackle. Ryan Williams tackle. I think Coker is your number one there. Is he? Yeah, and I like I said, I feel like if you want to look at his numbers here, run blocking, butt cheeks, pass blocking, pretty solid. I'll take Coker then. All right. You're getting a horned frog. Andrew Coker. Boom. All right, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I could honestly, if anybody doubles up at running back, especially if you're taking Dylan Johnson in the fifth, you might as well just – Six Frank Gore Jr. What do yeah. you think? Although I feel like the Niners are going to draft him at some point. I feel like they just have to. Yeah, I don't know. If Dallas already took. Yeah, I don't know if they would double. You don't think they double? I'm not I, sure. Especially so. I also like they took a running back. Yeah, I don't know if we gave them a center yet. Tanner Borellini. Kind of like I kind of like center here. I think if I'm actually, but I could also yeah. see them going the Texan guy, still yeah. need linebacker, double know, linebacker. Here, better odds for that. I'd go I mean, either or here. They cover they covet the linebacker position too so much. I'm gonna go Jalen Ford, go linebacker. Mm. Texas guy too. I think. Ooh, Tanner Bordellini. Are they gonna steal him from the Cowboys, Commanders? No, I think. Um, oh man. Cripes so money. I feel like you just go the best lineman here, right? Sure. Just take more swings of linemen. Yeah. I don't even know what college this is, dude. Howard. Oh, Howard. Oh. Anim Dinkwa. There we go. Or do I know Brandon Coleman? Let's see what his numbers look like. I like his pass blocking grade better. Brandon Coleman. Bigger Bam. school too. Bigger school too. Yeah. Right yeah, I like that too. Dallas uh, on the team. Um, I think now we go center, huh? Sure. I feel like that, you know, at least address it in the draft. Top of the board too, yeah. And I don't mind Dylan McMahon. I mean, look at his his numbers aren't awful either. He's pretty consistent, getting better each year. What's, what's like to see size? that. What's his size? And he is six four three oh five. I love that. For a center. Yeah, what is a sixth round so? Boom. All right. Cowboys again. Ooh, no. 
No quarterbacks here. I don't want to as younger brother either. Um, they probably should. They probably should look at a quarterback. I would think. Well, no, they got Trey Lance Jr. Yeah. I mean, he looks really good holding clipboards, and you know, I was really excited about him when I drafted him in fantasy like two years in a row, <laughs> and uh, nothing. <laughs> oh, I did. I love Tyler Owens before. I'm True. Trying to remember, did they retain their safeties? I know that their safeties weren't anything special to begin with. Right. Maybe they just go safety there. It's a draft. Right. Tyler Owens draft. I mean, we're in the seventh. You don't have to analyze all these seven. Oh, yikes. What did I do? No, the draft just finished. Oh, it's over. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's see. Well, I don't know where it went, guys. Mock drafts. Let's see if it's on here. Nope, this is our other mark drafts. Well, that's all right. I think I actually remember most of everything. Um, let's just talk about uh, that draft. That was that was fun. That was fun. But I love it for the Eagles. They go. They got some uh, kind of interesting how they went split. Uh, and went a lot, we we did a lot of offense uh, for them, so which I think makes sense in a lot of ways. But uh, they need to they need they need to revamp that defense. Everyone got better. Washington just adding players got better. Giants, yeah. some nice things. Even Dallas end of the rounds, I think there was some good value there with some of their picks. Um uh at running back. Uh yeah, I think Dylan Johnson, if they could get him in the fifth, that might honestly be one of my favorite picks for them. Especially yeah, good value. Yeah. All but about Brian, Th- Brian Thomas Jr. falling to them in the first round. I feel like that's yeah, something that's that's that I don't think that's gonna around. happen, but that helps the offense a lot. Um, for the Giants, I love the way that our first three rounds went. I mean, if we can go Jaden Daniels, Keon Coleman, Jalen Wright, I think our offense just got a lot better, especially addressing the O-line already. Really love that for the Giants. Safety is still something that I'm kind of looking towards. I think we did Cameron Kitchens for the Commanders, correct? We did. Yes, which I love that pick as well. So And the, and the third round, I think. Yeah. So, um, I don't think this is a this the mock drafts are never right, but <laughs> if I think Jaden Daniels falls to the Giants at six, that's like dream scenario. But I also think if he falls out of the top three, there is going to be a huge bidding war for Jaden Daniels. But yeah, picks five. You'll see a lot of teams get on the phones who need a quarterback. Yeah, yeah. And John Mara already gave his consent to Joe Shane and Brian Dable. If you fall in love with back yeah. and draft him. They also keep saying that Daniel Jones is their guy. Brian Dable also said we don't know if Daniel Jones is going to be ready for week one. So it might be Drew Locke's season uh, <laughs> or Tommy DeVito's season. We'll see who wins on that battle. Wow, uh, I'm sure there's so. fans that want Tommy DeVito over. But, um, yeah, I think doing a full seven-round mock draft in an hour, like that's uh, – I think we drafted pretty well, man. Me too. We squeezed, we squeezed three days into one hour, and we drafted Impressive. for four teams. Impressive, to say the least. Yeah, any other favorite picks that you have there, falling to which teams, good fits, good values? I love the Eagles' second-round picks, um, Cooper uh, and Xavier Leggett. Um That's, yeah. It's intriguing. I like I like Kool Aid too. I don't know if the Eagles would go quarterback. Um, it's not the home run first round pick. I think they might be looking for, but they there is something to have team control uh, of a cor- young quarterback like that for four years with a fifth year option too. So um, I'm happy with their with that draft. I don't think it's going to happen, but I like it. Yeah, I mean, if Kool Aid is the only corner back available out of like the, the you know the first round locks that have been mocked yeah. i feel like kool-aid is is not a bad consolation prize especially because i think going into the season he was one of the best quarterbacks but yeah. if you did have a pick at the lot i know we talked about this quinn quinion mitchell terry and arnold which way are you going do you think i think mitchell and do you another question i have do you think that the eagles trade up for a cornerback is that something to get the cb1 or do you think they're content with 
a first round quality. They'd have to trade up a good bit to do to get uh, those guys, I think. So I could see them trading up. Yes, uh, I don't know if they would trade up to get uh, Mitchell because if they're if they had to trade up to 11, 12 around that area. That's going to cost them. I don't think they'll do that. I'd rather. I, I think they'd rather see what falls to them. Uh, you're also just looking at a different position too. But it's an interesting question. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, the Giants traded up one pick last year to get um, our boy Deontay Banks. Even you though we had a chance of getting up. Joey Porter Jr. If you know what I'm saying, like we. Yeah. we we Eagles spent up, a fourth round pick to move up one. You know, Eagles straight up yeah. one pick to get uh, Jalen Carter. So, yeah, which. I would do it a heartbeat. <laughs> you know, like that's – that's As would I. No doubt. All right. Well, our teams just got better or worse. We'll see. Right. This might be a draft where we think that we got the best tackle in the league and the best edge rusher, and instead we have the worst tackle who is an a, a abolishment and Evan Neal. But hmm. I don't know. I, I think Keon Coleman is a swing at wide receiver, but – He's a risk that I would take in the middle of the second round. Um, I think I could have went Ricky Pearsall there because I really like Ricky Pearsall and I think that he's a stud. But it's you know. tough too with that. There are so many good receivers in the second round. Like yeah. Worthy, and even falling into the third. Yeah, Worthy yeah. was like, and I don't think Worthy falls. I think there's a chance he even goes in the first round just because you know fastest speed ever at the combine. He was productive too. It's not like he's just speed. He was very productive in college. I mean, he's thin, but maybe you and it, like we were talking, like maybe teams see him as a kick returner too with these new kick return rules. So mm-hmm. I don't know. And I know we talked about how we should address and get a kick returner for every team, and I don't think that was the case. But um, yeah, it's interesting. I, I'm sure teams already probably have ideas of who who. They probably have some options already. Who's on the team who could do some stuff? Yeah. I know the Eagles uh, have some names for thinking about. Yeah, and even the Giants, like we re-signed Gunnar Oshlevsky. I think that was one of our first uh, things that we did. I love Gunnar. Yeah. Good yeah. name, and he was good for us. He returned a kick, Just brought it to the house this year, and then I we also got Isaiah McKenzie, who I feel like is shifty and can do that. Mm-hmm. I'd rather put him back. I, I, I was even thinking for the Giants at least. Wandale Robinson is like. I love him. He's yeah. so shifty. I don't, yeah. and I feel like it's safer with these new kick return rules too, or like it's not as much of a risk putting him back there to return kicks. Right. So, that's the point. That's the whole, the whole reason yeah. for the rule change. Yeah. And how do you feel about like, do you, I, I honestly like it. I like it. Cause I think we're going to see more plays at kickoff than we have. Yeah. Seen. I think I like it. Um, hot take. I just hate that. Guys like Devin Hester, the Hall of or the Hall of Fame. The NFL's done a really good job of like making sure like only the best of the best get in it. And yeah, Devin Hester was the best kick returner. He did nothing as a receiver in the NFL. So no. or I, cornerback. He played cornerback too. Yeah. So I don't know. I so <laughs> not that that's related. Um I, no, I like no, no, no. It's, it's, yeah. I think I think bring back, yeah, bring back the kick. I think I think it'll be intriguing for sure, and, uh, and it's a they, one year. You know, I think they're going to make changes to it based on how this goes. Like this is like they they already said it's a one year trial. I don't yeah. think we're ever going to go back to the original kickoff. I remember playing football. Kickoffs was one of the most exhilarating and terrifying things. You were running full speed at these guys all the way down. The field. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do mean, that. That's awful. Yeah. And, uh, the amount of times I got trucked or trucked somebody, I'm like, oh, this guy's not looking. I'm going to send him like 10 yards, dude. Or I got trucked. Like, because I'm like, oh, where's he going? Boom. <laughs> you know, it's, oh, it's, wow. it's, uh, yeah. Special teams. I mean, I think it's crazy. And I know the Giants' new special teams coordinator that we, uh, we got from the Patriots, I heard on the Pat McAfee show that he was actually involved in helping figure out how to change the kickoffs, too. So that's kind of nice. So we have a guy that was kind of on the inside. That, before things were were you know made final for this upcoming season, right? So hopefully, hopefully that means that we are already on top of it and looking towards what we're going to do to build one of the best special teams in the world. Yeah, we hear that a lot with you Giants fans. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, anything else you want to talk about? I think that was a great draft. You know. Yes. If you watch this and you want to comment on YouTube. 
vote which team drafted the best. Yeah. Um, We're looking at you, Hector. Yeah, Amazing again, player. I'm an Eagles fan, so I'm not. I don't don't fight with me. Yeah, but, you uh, can fight with me. I hate Saquon yeah. now. Look at him. I threw him to the wolves. Uh, um, disrespectful. Anyway, yeah, good. Um, yeah, like you yeah. said, like and subscribe. Comment your favorite pick. Tell us the worst pick that we did. Tell us how wrong we are. Please, sure. like, just type it away. Type it away. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you would have done if you were Jerry Jones slash Joe Shane slash Peters slash Howie. You know? Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys. Tune in, and uh, we will be back for another mock draft, perhaps, as this March madness, mock draft madness ensues going into April. So thank you guys so much. Have a good Easter and Passover. Passover? Passover. Yes. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.